Hey guys, Aaron Classic Gamer. We're getting ready to play one of my favorite Sonic the Hedgehog games of all time, guys. Tons and tons of nostalgia associated with this uh, game franchise, obviously, in this game in particular. Uh, I did pick up a Dreamcast on night one, 99-1999, and we're going to take you back to that time, guys. We've been playing some awesome, awesome games. This is right up in my top two or three favorite Sonic the Hedgehog games, and probably top ten of all time, guys. Really, really love this game. Have a lot of nostalgia for it. Uh, I actually rented this game the night before uh, it was the system actually released. So at a place way back uh, when called Hollywood Video, it was pretty popular in the mid Midwest. Uh, so I didn't have a VMU at the time, and I played the game quite a bit, and. Uh, was unable to save the game, so I was leaving my Dreamcast on for a day or two, so on and so forth. And yes, I still have that day one Dreamcast. Still working to this day. Had to clean the fan a couple times, reset the laser, but it's still working strong. So, I figured we'd talk about this and uh, what the game meant to me. And uh, we'd go ahead and read the description of the game on the back. We'd jump in and play 20 or 25 minutes. This isn't going to be a one credit game. I guess it will be, but... Uh, we're probably going to stop it before we die. Uh, it's going to be more of a retrospective. So thank you for joining me on the Sonic Week, retrospective week. Uh, the Sonic the Hedgehog movie has been coming out. It came out last Thursday. Amazing video uh, movie. You should watch that. Tons of fun for all ages. Very appropriate for kids and a lot of fun for adults as well. Jim Carrey is absolutely amazing. And Sonic looks great. And it's just a great, great homage to the seri series as a whole. So we're going to continue this uh, Sonic week. So guys, let's read the description, then we're going to jump into the gameplay. Buckle up, and we're talking a five-point harness. Sonic the Hedgehog will propel your Dreamcast into warp speed 3D adventure. Want rings? We've got rings. Want Chaos Emeralds? We've got those too. You want insane graphics, huge levels, puzzles, hidden mini games, multiple playable characters, and more. Oh yeah, we've got it all. Features six playable characters, each with his or her own skills and abilities. Jaw-dropping 3D graphics uh, with unbelievable detail and speed. Nearly 50 total massive levels, bonus rounds, bosses, and minigames. Exclusive A-Life system. You can breed and, breed and train your KO characters with a VMU. That's the visual memory unit. Then race them in a Sonic Adventure. Pretty cool stuff, guys. Let's get over to the other screen. We're going to launch the Dreamcast. We're doing this on all original hardware. Like I said, guys, we're going to take you back to 9999. Leave an old uh, Walmart there with a the Dreamcast in hand. It was really awesome. No, it wasn't Walmart. Maybe it was Best Buy. That's right, Best Buy. Anyway, guys. We're going to go back to that time, and it was about 25 after midnight, guys, and I finally loaded up this game. Could not wait. This was the best-looking game of all time up until then. So the gameplay was awesome. It's a little laggy now, you would think, or a little buggy or so on and so forth, but to me, this game ages like a fine wine. Absolutely beautiful, guys. So we're on 9999. At about 25 after midnight, guys, let's relive the treasure that is Sonic Adventure on the Sega Dreamcast. Of course, produced by Sega. Good old Sonic Team was the developer. And it's telling us we can't save the game, guys. It's just like the way back in the day for me. Unable to save it. But we're going to play it. We're going to enjoy it. It's going to be a ton of fun. We've been waiting for a 3D Sonic for years and years, guys. And here it is. We're going to go ahead and watch the entire opening intro here, guys. Holy crap! It's flooding! Listen to that soundtrack, everybody. Awesome. This pumped me up, man.
Wowza. Evil Dr. Robotnik. All right. I guess that's it for the intro, guys. It's loading up. Absolutely amazing, guys. I remember watching videos of this and pictures and stuff uh, in all the video game magazines, and I could not wait. So let's jump in, guys. There's adventure options, and then, of course, the Internet. Let's go ahead and go into adventure. So you've got three to pick from. You've got Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, which are all pretty familiar. And then there's Amy, Big, and E102Y. We're going to go ahead and jump into Sonic, and that's what I did the first day. Playing with an original Sega Dreamcast controller. I'm pretty sure this is one of the first controllers I ever bought. My first controller actually quit working, guys. I played with it so much. It actually quit accepting inputs, so the Dreamcast is epic, guys. I still play it at least once a week. One of my favorite systems. There's Central Station. This was jaw-dropping back in the day, guys. Whoa, Helicopter. There's our hero, looking out on the beautiful city. First time we heard Sonic's voice, guys. All right. All right. We did our spin dash, and we ran in there to find out what is up. Let's do it. Totally radical. There's the evil bad guy, Chaos. That's a lot of gunpowder, guys. I see a brain. And I see, what is it, water and a Chaos Emerald. That's not good. Oh, no! Fall back! Oh, my God! It could be. All right. Time to kick some ass and chew some bubblegum, guys. And we're all out of bubblegum. Chaos. All right. Do have the homing attack. All right. We got him again. Keep in mind, we did not have two joysticks to be able to do different aspect ratios. So, all right, we got him. Pretty easy. We pissed him off, though. What the heck's going on? Ah, down the drain he goes. What the heck? I just love the art style, guys. This is just absolutely timeless. Dr. Robotnik! Wait a minute, is that Jim Carrey? Uh, 
All right. Check out that beautiful view, guys. I thought about playing the GameCube version of this, the Sonic Adventure DX, but it, this just looks better to me. I don't know why. I mean, graphics are just somewhat a little more rough, uh, a few more sound problems. But this was optimized for the Dreamcast, not the GameCube, guys. It actually plays a lot better on the Dreamcast. Oh boy, now we gotta go save Tails. Jeez. I'm gonna jump into the water. Whoa, underwater, underwater, underwater. Uh, she, I was swimming and I missed it. What happened? And you can actually go up to people and talk to them, you know? It's pretty crazy. There's the spin dash. I hope the pilot's okay. Mr. Sonic, please go see if you can save him. Alright. Just my luck. A monster appears and a plane falls. I came here to relax. This is unbelievable! I just love this back in the day, guys. Let's check out the... Uh... Welcome to Emerald Coast. Alright, let's go into the first stage, guys. This is what was on the demo, guys. That whale scared the shit out of me. I'm just going to say that ahead of time. Pretty crazy stuff. Rescue Tails! Alright. Oh, we got to capture them. There we go. For the chaos. Check out the dolphins. Whoa! Crazy speed, guys. Crazy speed. This game was like a giant tech demo for the uh, series back in the day. Whoa! Let's go through there. I just love the analog stick of the Dreamcast, the controller. Most people don't like it, but uh, I love it, man. I This was the first time I really played a, a 3D console outside of the N64, and the graphics were just amazing. All right, there's that evil whale. I had so much fear from that damn whale, guys. Thought he was going to kill me. And a lot of this is just pressing forward, but... You know, that's a lot of what made Sonic fun. It was very approachable to all different, uh, you know, play styles. I remember, I think there's some rings back here. Yep. All right. There we go. Ten more. He's trying to shoot me. What a dick. Whoa. There we go. And who says this game doesn't play well? Whoa. Run into the wall there. There we go. I'm not quite sure what this thing is, but definitely interesting. There we go into the second part of the level, guys. This is where it really heats up. Whoa. Whoa. Uh -huh. Running on the roof. Man, oh man. The speed is just unreal. And, and that's what they did with this game, is they were able to capture that speed you know of the original series it was a very faithful uh whoa we jumped off and we died oh no oh my gosh that was crazy what the hell just happened who dies in the first stage ah what It's just such a huge level, guys. All right. Ah, ah, ah. What is going on? So much craziness. All right. There we go. Ah. 
All right. Let's get up there and finish this level, guys. Just definitely out of practice, so forgive me on that. All right, thank you. That was very kind of her to be there to just tell me all about it. Check out the loop de loops, guys. All right, we're in this home stretch here. The uh, the feel of control and the feel of balance is just amazing here, guys. And we just saved tails. So something uh, about this game that makes it extra special to me, uh, the copy of this game that I'm actually playing now, uh, my brother owned this game, and uh, I ended up picking up Quake 3 Arena and, uh, you know, all the other shooters and stuff like that and we just rented Sonic Adventure and uh, he wanted to play Quake and I wanted to play Sonic Adventure so we trade games uh, unfortunately that brother of mine is no longer with us so uh, I actually got him into this game and uh, we played the game together and it thus means a lot more to me Chaos Emerald. Time to supercharge it. Oh boy. It must be a bullet train because Sonic is super fast. Yeah, guys, just now you can play with Tails. All right. So after you meet a new character, you unlock that character. So that's pretty cool. I just love the adventure aspects of this game. You were able to go upstairs here, and this was like the KO Garden. We're not, I mean, we can go there if you want. That goes out to the main city. Uh, and I think there was a way to go upstairs here. And that's where the train is. Maybe not. Unfortunately, we don't have that power yet. So, you have this power. You can go between uh, uh, different areas there. And, uh, you know, by if there's coins... It'll link you from one area to another. It's pretty cool, actually. Let's go to the bus station, guys. This game's a little discombobulating uh, playing it when you haven't played it for a while, so... Finally, Station Square. I'm going to the beach, the casino, and Twinkle Park. She's not talking. Talk to me. All right. We got a double staircase here. It's like we're getting on the Titanic, man. To the Mystic Ruins we go. This is really cool how the game just branches off and you go to different areas. And it, it is really a Sonic adventure. We're the Exploration Party, searching for the ruins. I'm still new here, so they don't let me go very far. <laughs> I just love this music, guys. And you just hit those if you don't know where you're going. This eventually opens up over here. And takes us to the where the Master Emerald is. When I woke up, the mountain was here, there already. I don't think it sprung out of the ground. So it must have fallen from the sky. I know that sounds crazy. But just look at this lush area, guys. You go back on the minecart. I know that area is like blocked for now, but I believe that's where you actually find tails. There's an area up there you can go through. Just absolutely beautiful, guys.
Yeah, you push that in, and then that pops out up there, and you're able to jump up there, if I remember correctly. But either way, we've got to get back up to Tails Workshop. I just wanted to show you some of the Mystic Ruins, guys. Like I said, this is such a big part of my childhood, it's just unbelievable. Let's go talk to this guy. A, f a fox named Tails lives there. Tails calls it his workshop. Maybe that's where Tails is now. A real coming of age game, guys. There's another guy. Let's see what he has to say. There are ruins of an ancient civilization here. We came to check it out. Absolutely beautiful, guys. But yeah, like I said, this game uh, was actually owned by my brother at one point. He had a Dreamcast as well. We both got one on day one. He was a lot older than me, fully grown. You know, had a job, all that kind of stuff. And I had to save up my paper route money to get the machine. I found a KO garden in the Mystic Ruins. It's on the other side, but don't tell anybody else, okay? Uh -huh. Yeah, there's the KO garden. Pretty cool, guys. Yeah, and uh, we played this game together quite a bit. I ended up getting the copy from him. I traded him Quake 3 Arena for it. I loved playing it online, but uh, I really, really wanted Sonic Adventure and be able to play more of this game. So, like I said, this game just means so much to me because of that. So, I hope this is my collection forever. There's Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> or else I just love Sonic and Tails voice acting in here just awesome guys oh no He's got a giant drill, if I remember correctly. Crazy guy. What the hell is going to happen? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Eggman! So it's the Egg Hornet. Better get some coins. Yeah, we're too fast for that, Dr. Eggman. Come on. Take that! Gotcha! Or am I? Got to keep moving. Got to keep moving. Just the feel of speed is just unreal in this game, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Whoa! Take that, Dr. Eggman. Nah, he's Dr. Robotnik to me for now and forever. Ha ha! Not a bad score, not a great score. We'll take it. Got to see what's going on in the old workshop, I'm guessing, after this. Ha ha. Take that. Oh no. He's taking our Chaos Emerald! That's not good. Ha ha ha! 
And now he's yet even more powerful. Well, we can't let that happen. Oh, geez. Jeez. Not sure where we go after this, but uh, let's go ahead and check out the workshop because we're already here. Look at that. We can walk through doors. I don't know what's supposed to be in here. I think there's a plane that launches from here eventually, but I cannot remember. Yep. A windstone. It looks like a key. The design must mean something. I can't remember where we're supposed to put the windstone. Is it up here? Maybe that windstone machine here. Maybe it's, I don't know, out here somewhere. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Definitely a lot of fun, though. There goes my windstone! Alright, guys. That was fun. We were able to do our first boss battle uh, facing Dr. Robotnik, or Dr. Eggman, as they call him. A lot of fun, guys. Like I said, this game means so much to me. I This will be in my... Uh, be in my collection probably for the rest of my life. I love this game, love this system. Played on the original Sega Dreamcast that I purchased way back in 1999. Gotta love it, guys. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and as always, peace and happy gaming, guys.